Hi, welcome to another edition of Track Pro Live, episode 36. I'm Len Erickson, your host, and I'll be covering how to create playlists in iTunes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here you see we have iTunes up and running. And uh, before we just dive into actually making a playlist, I wanted to just cover the basics of the uh, iTunes interface for you. Specifically here on the left side, this grayed area here is the main menuing system that we're going to be using today. And uh, it doesn't hurt to have a basic understanding of this. You'll notice it's broken down into three main areas. The first being the library area. Uh, this is where you access your music library and your movies, your podcasts, and so forth and so on. Um, the second area is the store area. This is where you uh, access the uh, online store for iTunes to uh, purchase online music. Um, and then the lastly, the uh, last section is the playlist area. And that's what we're going to be working with today. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, make a playlist. Well, the actually the quickest way to uh, make a playlist in... Uh, iTunes is simply come down here to the lower left and you'll see this plus sign here at the bottom. Just go ahead and click that and there you'll notice that a, uh, a new playlist appears and uh, it's highlighted with the words untitled playlist. Uh, Why it's highlighted here we can go ahead and rename it to something more meaningful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rename this one Lens Mix and then press enter and then we select it and you see we have a new playlist and it's empty okay so we're exactly as we are now this is the part that uh, messes most people up because they go well how do I get the music into the playlist um, one thing good about the uh, the Apple is everything is drag and drop so if we want to make uh, a playlist we just simply go to our music library up at the top and this is where our master library of music is okay and we simply select which music we wish to have in the playlist by selecting selecting the song here I'll select an Abba song and I just drag the song to the playlist and then drop it and then I can select another song and drag and drop uh, now one thing to remember a lot of people get confused here um, you're not actually moving music around. Uh, what you're doing is you're creating shortcuts in the playlist. See, I'll take a look at the playlist by clicking. Now you see those two songs are in there. These songs are not physically being moved around. They're still contained within the master library. See, here's Dancing Queen right here. It's also in here in the playlist, Lens Mix. This confuses people a lot, gets people nervous because they think they're moving music around. When you're dragging and dropping songs from the library to a playlist, you are simply creating a shortcut to that song. You're not moving music, uh, so you don't need to worry. Example, if I were to take Dancing Queen and highlight that, and then hit the delete key, um, the system's going to say, do I want to remove? And this panics a lot of people because they think that they're actually removing music. You're not. You're on the playlist. We remove it. Dancing Queen is gone, but it's gone from the playlist only. So we go up to the library, and we see Dancing Queen is right there. Okay, nothing has been removed. So when you're working with a playlist, you're working with shortcuts. When you're working in the library, that's when you're working with real, the physical uh, music files. So hopefully that's clear for you. So let's go ahead and make a, a little bit of a playlist for you here to give you an example. I'm just going to grab a couple songs at random and drop them going through my music list. And again, it's whatever songs you wish to have in whatever order you want to have the songs come in. And so I just go right down and drag and drop them on my playlist. Okay. And then when I'm done, I can select a playlist and I can see I have put six songs in the playlist and if I'm not happy with the order uh, I can right here uh, change the order of the song let's see I don't want, I want this to be the number two song I just drag and drop it and change the order uh, it's that easy uh, and uh, 
once you're happy with it, uh, then you can come down and you can burn a disc, you can uh, transfer it to your iPod, uh, or even play it right here in the uh, iTunes uh, application. Well, that's our show, and thanks for watching. And remember, if you ever need any help or just want to say hi, be sure and drop me a line at len at trekpro.com. Or maybe you'd like to sponsor an episode of Trek Pro Live, you can contact us at sales at trekpro.com. Until again. <laughs>